What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are going to be looking at the 10 best starter house designs for your Minecraft world. These designs will vary a little in difficulty, but they are all fairly easy to get the materials for and build in your early game Minecraft world. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, if you want to check out any of these designs, the full tutorials are all in the links down in the description below so you can go and check out these guys' channel for yourself. First up today, we are looking at an extremely easy design by Smithers Boss and this design is great for your Minecraft world just because it is super easy to build. The blocks are very minimalistic so you're going to be able to do this within the first few days of your world. And this design not only has a farm for the roof but he also shows you multiple ways to build this design in different biomes depending on what wood you have available. So I think this is a really great video to check out to find some very easy designs for your world that will also produce a a little bit of food to get you going in your early games of Minecraft. Next up we are checking out a design by Finex Builds and I chose this design specifically because I know most of you are all just digging holes in the wall for your starter house anyway, which is also what I do so I really don't blame you. But he shows you a great way to make your starter hole look incredible and it's very simple with just a few spruce blocks. You can also change this up with whatever wood you have in the surrounding area and he does a great interior as well. What's great about this design specifically is that it is completely expandable if you want to go further into the mountain or anything else with this hole. What is also great about this design is I think this would look great with different layers if you have one of these entrances with maybe a little balcony higher up on the mountain that would also look incredible as well. But this is kind of a hobbit hole for your starter days of Minecraft and it's very simple to build. Next up we are looking at a beautiful build by Gemini Tay and this one is a little more complex but if you have the resources which is just a bit of spruce and oak, also some andesite and cobblestone, this is a very easy to build. She does a full block by block tutorial on how to build this so it's going to be very easy as long as you follow along and it also looks great. It's also a fairly big build for a starter house so you actually have a lot of room to do everything that you need in your base. You can put an enchanting table, a pretty good sized storage room, you could also have a nether portal and a brewing room. It's really a great starter house for your world. What I really like about this starter house specifically is the ease of the block palette. It's using andesite and cobblestone which are extremely easy to get early game and it relies on a lot of wood. This part may be a little more difficult to get all the wood for this but I think with a couple hours in game you're gonna have absolutely everything you need to actually be able to build this which is fairly quick. Not only that, but it looks incredible as well. I mean, who wouldn't want a build like this in your world? Especially maybe even building a village or town around this, it would look absolutely incredible. The next design that we are showing is by Mythical Sausage, and this design features some pretty simple blocks, but also some blocks that may be a bit harder to get in early game Minecraft, but I still want to show it off because of how simple and replicable this build is. What I think would be absolutely great is choosing the easiest one of these mushrooms for you to build, whichever is easiest to gather all the materials for. I think it would probably be uh, the one that relies mostly on wood rather than the nether ingredients. But building these and then building ones around it is very simple, especially with Mythical Sausages tutorial. I think this would be great for a starter home because it would also have multiple buildings in your world. Once you get a few of them built up, you could build one specifically for enchanting, one for nether and so on and so on. It's really a great design because of how replicable it is with all the different colors that you can do in Minecraft. He also adds a bunch of farmland around it, not only to make it look nicer, but this would be a great early game way to get food, maybe some wheat to breed animals, all types of things like that. It includes a well in the middle, which could easily be turned into a secret base. So I think there's a lot of great ideas from this design. Next up, we are going to be looking at Foxel, who has an incredible farmhouse design. I actually really like this one. For the most part, it has a very simple block palette. It's mostly stone and wood, which is all very easy to get. It does feature wool as well to give it those white borders, but I think you can change this white up, maybe if you have some polished diorite or even uh, some calcite as well, that would look incredible. But if you do have some sheep and you can breed and get some wool from them, this would be a great block to use as well. He also does a lot of work on interior, which I think is great for a lot of people who may struggle a little bit with knowing what to put inside their base. 
it's a very easy tutorial to follow along with. He does a great job of doing a third person mode mixed in with a bit of first person mode here and there to really show you how to get all the details into this incredible build. And while this may seem like a bigger or more difficult build for your starter game of Minecraft, I think because of the easy block palette, it's going to be extremely simple for you to do. It is really just stone and wood and that white block is very interchangeable. You could even use birch if that's available to you as well. So there's a lot that you can use for this design and I think it looks absolutely incredible. Don't forget all the links for these builds are down in the description below so you can go and check out their channels and all the builds they have. They don't even have just these builds, they have so many more on all their channels so definitely go and check out these creators. Next up we are checking out one of my favorite starter house designers and that is Dio Rods. This one is Badland Biome specific so if you're really not interested in the Badland Biomes go ahead and move on to the next creator in this video. But I wanted to include this one because we just did a 1.19 theory update yesterday where we talked about how the warm biomes could be getting an update very soon. The Badlands are often used just to farm terracotta and not really build in, so I think this is a great design to show people what type of designs you could build in a Badlands biome because this one looks absolutely incredible. It features very simple materials that you can find either in the Badlands biome or very near to it with the oak. It does feature some spruce as well which may not be very near to a Badlands biome, but if you can't find that you can also trade this out for pretty much any other type of wood and it will still look fine. This design is also great for early game Minecraft because it includes a farm on top which is of course great for getting food and it also includes a pen for animals which is great for early game Minecraft. He puts a horse in there but personally I would either put sheep or cows to get either wool or leather because that is so much more important in early game. Next up we are looking at another biome specific build and this one is from Folly in a jungle biome. This is actually an incredible build. I love the detail work on it with the trap doors and the leaves, the ferns, everything like that. It looks great and I think this is a great video not only for the build but showing you guys how to do a little more detail work in your starter houses. I think this build looks absolutely incredible. It doesn't just do a square shape, it has a lot of depth and a lot of detail especially in the roof. Personally the jungle is one of my favorite biomes so I do really like how this build is jungle specific. I think this build is also very easy to move into other biomes just by using other types of wood. You could easily do this same design uh, in spruce or oak wood and it would look great in those uh, particular biomes. The interior of course is very simple to copy over into any other build, but as a whole this thing looks incredible and it's mostly because of the shape and detail of the roof. Next up, because I know you guys are most likely just going to go ahead and dig a hole for your starter base anyway, I included this one which is actually just a straight down hole in the ground. This one uh, is a circular design that I think looks absolutely incredible, very expandable as well. In this particular case, it's built in a savanna biome using acacia wood, but could, it can be easily replicated into any other biome and it'll still look great. This design is also very easily expandable and it actually starts off with a pretty decent sized storage system. She puts down 10 double chests right here and this will really get you through the early game days of Minecraft as long as you're not trying to do block by block sorting. She also does that with slabs so you're still able to open the top one so make sure you do that when you're doing the build as well. So if you're like me and you just want to dig a hole in the beginning and make a starter base out of that, at least try to make it look nice in your next world and do something like this to your starter base so it looks incredible as well as being functional. Next up we are looking at a design by Almost Addicted Minecraft. This is a great design, it includes a farm on the outside which you guys know I absolutely love for early game Minecraft. It also has a lot of details mostly with natural things, it has some pathways on the outside, a ton of storage on the inside with probably about 14 double chests. It has a bunch of bookshelves which he uses for enchanting and he hides some of the things under trapdoors which I think is a great idea. A lot of these things you're not going to use all the time, you don't need to have your enchanting table out all the time if you're not doing a ton of enchanting when you're in your early game. This is a very easy to follow along with block by block design so I highly recommend you go check this out if you're looking for something extremely simple but functional in your early game Minecraft. 
Of course, some blocks like glowstone may be a bit harder to get, but you can use torches until you're actually able to go and acquire that type of block. Next up, we are looking at a pretty massive starter house design. This one is definitely going to take you a while to acquire all the materials, but if you're looking for a bigger project for your starter base, this is definitely the one for you. It is a combination of above ground and underground design, looks absolutely incredible, has a farm, a huge storage system to put all your early game items, and is definitely very easy to follow along with in the video. I think it looks incredible, it's a huge circular design, you can see the farm on top, there's plenty of room for furnaces and absolutely everything you're going to need in early game Minecraft. He of course does a lot of decorations with enchanting tables and things like that. That is something that I wouldn't recommend in early game Minecraft, but if you're trying to ball out then go for it and do it. Other than that, this is a really great design if you're looking for a huge storage room in your starter house and if you really want a circular type base. I really like the look of this, I think it's very aesthetically pleasing and it, was t it would totally be something that I would build in my own world. That is all that we have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. If you want to check out any of these builds and see the full tutorials, be sure to check the links down in the description below. Other than that, that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.